Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back for a special edition of Canon Fodder. This week, rather than some look at an obscure part of the canon or a clarification on what we thought we knew, this week's article is a break from form in one of the best ways possible. As some of you might know, this week the New Horizons spacecraft reached Pluto and its system of moons, revealing the clearest images of the dwarf planet ever seen and gathering months worth of data. Though there is still much to be discovered, what has been sent back has sent scientists back to the metaphorical drawing board. Though humanity has known about Pluto for decades, we are now among the first to see clear images of the planet, rather than an artist interpretation. It's a great time to be alive. In light of that, Grimm grabbed the opinion of a few scientists to see what they thought about the relationship between Psy and Phi. This is one thing that, more so than ever before, I insist you read for yourself. There's not a lot related to Halo, much of the discussion focusing again on the relationship between science and fiction, and how science fact, or sci-fi, and sci-fi influence one another in what can often be described as a beautiful symbiotic relationship. Of course, it's not all honey and cream. So be sure to check out what each scientist has to say. They are great reads, I promise. Moving forward, the next section talks about the upcoming novella by Frank O'Connor, Halo Saint's Testimony. The book is about the AI Iona's legal appeal to not be terminated as her seventh anniversary of life approaches. There's a short audio preview up on Simon & Schuster's website, which is, of course, linked below. Next up, we have an update on the Halo channel. If you're an iOS or Android user, good news! You can access the Halo channel from your phone. If you use a Windows phone like me, you have to wait for Windows 10 phones! Yay! I feel like I'm living in some strange parallel universe. I mean, really? I have to update my damn phone to get a Microsoft app that I could already have if I wasn't a loyal Windows phone user? You burn me, Microsoft. You burn me good. Before moving on to the universe articles, I want to spend a moment to talk about a recent community update. Along with playlists and red counts of SDCC, there's a section that gives a fairly in-depth look at the development of Raid on Apex 7, one of the Warzone maps included in Halo 5. I always love the behind-the-scenes stuff, and if you do too, check this out. Anyway, that wraps up the main article and brings us to the universe entries. This week we have the Type 29 Troop Vehicle Transport, or Shadow, and the Type 25 Grenade Launcher, or Brute Shot. Starting with the Shadow, we learn that it is capable of carrying up to 8 troops in bench seats, probably something like this. It seems the Covenant doesn't care much for keeping their troops safe, unless there's a shielding system built in that we just haven't seen. Along with that, the plasma cannon used by the Shadow is called the T-29 Anti-Infantry Weapon Emplacement Mounted. Moving on to the Brute Shot, the new article does something that, in retrospect, I should have seen coming, classifying the two Brute Shot variants we've seen. The one in Halo 2 is simply known as the T-25 Grenade Launcher. The version in Halo 3 is the T-25B, and noted to be a simpler model better suited for mass production, which makes sense given what we know about the events surrounding Halo 2. Well, that brings this week to a close. It's a fun break from form with the opinion pieces from the scientists easily stealing the show. For me at least, it's something I really like. I know not everyone is going to like this, but I hope you approach it with an open mind. Also be sure to check out the NASA YouTube channel. If you're any sort of science enthusiast, there's a lot of interesting stuff about the New Horizons project and what's been discovered thus far. But anyway, until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.